بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على شرف المرسلين Today's lesson for English will be for first back from unit 8 our cultural heritage which will be a lesson of functions or functional language although it is more of a grammar since it is related to models but of course we use models for functions In the first term, we talked about models of certainty. We talked about must, may, and can't. We were talking about certainty. Let me write it for you. Here, certainty. We talked about models of certainty. Okay, we talked about must mustn't, can't, and we talked about may, okay? Models of certainty. Possibility and impossibility, of course. In today's lesson, we will talk about expressing possibility. Expressing possibility. Concerning impossibility, of course, we talked about it when we dealt with the lesson of models of certainty. So today's lesson from unit eight will be expressing possibility. Let's roll. <clears throat> Here I have a dialogue for you between Mr. Snow and his daughter, Helen. Okay, we have Mr. Snow and we have his daughter, Helen. Mr. Snow. Hello, Helen. Have you seen your brother? I can't find him. Helen, he could be in the kitchen. Mr. Snow, no, he is not. I have just been there. Helen, perhaps he is in the market with mother. He was helping her find some recipes online. Mr. Snow, it's possible they will prepare some special food to welcome our new neighbors. Okay, now what I want you to do is to read the dialogue and try to answer these four questions. Read the dialogue to answer these questions. Question number one, what is Mr. Snow asking about? <clears throat> what is Mr. Snow asking about? Hmm? Yes, very good. Mr. Snow is asking Helen about her brother. Mr. Snow is asking Helen about her brother. He said, have you seen your brother? So he is asking her about her brother, his son. Question number two, what is Helen's response? Hmm? What is Helen's response? Very good. Her response is that he could be in the kitchen. She said he could be in the kitchen. So her response is that he could be in the kitchen. Question number three. Is Helen sure about her brother's whereabouts? Whereabouts are the place, the place where someone can be. Like for example, right now, my whereabouts are my home my room, I am in my room. So is Helen sure about her brother's whereabouts, which is where her brother is? And justify, hmm? is she? She's not, mm -hmm. how do you know it? Very good, no she is not because she used could and she used perhaps, because she is not sure, she is not sure, certain, She doesn't know where her brother is. She's just given possibilities of his whereabouts. Last question. Is Mr. Snow, the father, certain about what his wife and son are planning to do? And just a why. Hmm? Very, very good. He is not certain. He is not sure. How do you know it? Very good, he used. It's possible. Well, he is not certain. 
because he used it's possible. It is just a possibility. Okay, something that is possible to happen. I will give you a few seconds to look at the dialogue again. Okay. Pay attention to the expressions in blue, the expressions we used. All right. Of course, you know what you're going to do next, of course. Smart ones have already noted down the expressions. Let's go to the chart expressing possibility. What I want you to do, of course, is to try and, of course, <clears throat> I forgot to mention that you have to copy the dialogue. Sorry, pause the video and copy the dialogue. So now what I want you to do is to tell me some of the express, <clears throat> expressions used to express possibility. Mm -hmm. We have, Good, here we have, let me try to subject plus, good, subject can be a name or subject pronoun, I could, ta ta ta, she could, ta ta ta, etc. Okay, what else? Hmm? So we also have perhaps, perhaps. Anything else from the dialogue, of course? It is possible. It is possible. Now, my smart little ones, do you know any other expressions that are used to express possibility? Anything else? And don't look at your textbooks. Mm, yes, yes, very good. May. Again, the same thing. Might, they have the same meaning. But might is more formal. Okay, and the same thing, subject plus may or might plus the verb, of course. She may, it may, she might, it might, they might. Anything else? Hmm? Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. At the beginning of a sentence, of course. And possibly, of course, it comes from possibility. Possibly. Very good. All right, these are some of the expressions we use to express possibilities. Now let's see if you understood the lesson. If you can remember some of the expressions, let's do some comprehension check. So comprehension check. Here we have Shema talking to Sihan. Shema is asking, do you know where I can find the teacher of English? Siam replies, I don't like him. She replies, I don't like him. Now, is this correct? Is this how Siam should reply? Hmm? Of course, it's not. It is wrong. It is not wrong because she doesn't like the teacher. The way she replies, the expressions she used is wrong. But why is it wrong? Hmm? Yes, it is. Exactly. The arm should give information and use expressions of possibility to reply to Shema's questions about the whereabouts, if you remember, or about where the teacher can possibly be. Where the teacher can possibly be. She shouldn't give her opinion here because she's not, Shema is not asking about Sihan's opinion. So what can she possibly say in this situation? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yes, she can say maybe he is in the extracurricular activities room. 
it's possible that he is it's possible he is in the administration he could be in his classroom because she is not certain she he, it is just a possibility okay she is not sure of the teachers were about all right let's carry on now this is a little exercise from the textbook take it to english the first back exercise three page 115 page 115 it is just like a revision of a number of function lessons we did this year so match the sentences with what they express okay we've done this question in many quizzes and exams and exercises we have six sentences here one two three four five and six and we have a number of functions okay for expressions we have suggestion apologizing possibility permission advice and request okay making a suggestion apologizing expressing possibility asking for permission giving advice or asking for advice making a request now take some time try to move to use that brain of yours and try to remember the expressions we studied this year to answer this one okay i will give you some time okay all right let's start correcting we'll go slowly so you can manage by the way you can also pause and come back for the correction okay if it's too fast for you so first one could you open the window please could you open the window please so number one is hmm, it is a request making a request number two shall we have a walk it's outside shall we have a walk outside number two is a suggestion you're making a suggestion number three may i open the window it's too hot in here and you're asking for permission you're asking for permission to open the window number four you should save energy you should save energy it is given advice it is given advice because we have should number five i can't tell you how sorry i am i can't tell you how sorry i am so it is is it apologizing or possibility mm -hmm. it is b apologizing and the last one of course is c i may go to the party i am not sure i am not certain it is a possibility i may go i may not go okay all right now i will give you a little exercise to do a little homework all right your turn to shine also your turn to use the expressions you learned now what i want you to do is to answer each question using the expressions you've learned in specific expressions of possibility using models of possibility and the expressions used to express possibility here we have an example this is the question what are you going to do tonight so the example is i don't know i may i may go out with friends or another response another reply i may i might stay, stay at home maybe i'll hang out with my sister at her place so here we have question number one what are you going to do tomorrow question number two what is the weather going to be like this weekend question number three fatima and lubna are not online today where are they hmm? you have to 
answer these questions, of course. <clears throat> Don't forget to send me the, the answers, both on the Facebook group and the Telegram group, or send them by email if you can. You can also use the Teams. <clears throat> Students can log into the, their virtual classroom, right? And I have another question for you. Write at least three answers to this to this question. The question is, what are the things, what are the things that are possible, that are possible to happen in 2020, which is this year? What are the things that are possible to happen? Just try to think of three things that may or may not happen this year. For example, it's possible they find a cure for COVID-19. They could, they may find a cure for COVID-19. So that's our lesson for today. Expressing possibility. I hope you understood well. I will be available always. Try and answer your questions if you have any. Stay home, stay safe, take care and see you very soon. Bye-bye.